Hello, hello! Pete's Pax here, and we're back with Throwback Thursday, episode number three. Uh, this is the fifth edition trading card game two player set. So, uh, first, a little bit of information. Um, I know I haven't posted the last couple of days. My spouse has been in the hospital, they are still in the hospital. Things are looking up, but posts may be a little sporadic for the next few weeks until everything with their health is resolved. In other words, my focus and attention is needed elsewhere, but I will still post when I can. That being said, we have a really great throwback today. Uh, fifth edition is actually the first set in the levels system that they did the levels rating system and it was the first ever product to bear the advanced level uh, this is one of the core sets it's the one that followed after fourth edition and actually uh gave us quite a few things that we still use even today uh, some of the templating and formatting um, the concept of evergreen mechanics Quite a few things came from 5th edition. So let's see what's in here. According to the back contents, there are two 30 card decks and a booster pack of 5th edition. Uh, also, one of the things that was pioneered in 5th edition was this double sized. Um, deck box that was actually used up through I think it was 7th for 2 player starter games so uh, Portal 2 had this size, the Portal 1 box was a little larger 6th edition used the same size alright so we have a rule book play guide and everything is shrink wrapped together which is what we want to see It's also where some of the most iconic art through the mid 90s came from. And this is where we got the uh, 97 frame, which was the modern frame used up through 8th uh, up up until 8th edition. So have a play guide booklet which should also be full color. I believe this was the first one. Oh no, this one's not full color. Maybe it's the sixth edition one that's full color. This is also before the more modern uh, version of the rules. So I believe there's still interrupts in here and you have fast effects and batch system in this as well. The whole explanation of how timing works. Again, at some point, I will be either linking to linking to a PDF of this or scanning this and uh, hosting it myself. So, I believe this was also where we had the mana symbols that are now being used. I know they changed a little bit after 4th edition, not much, but I think this is where they were finally finalized. Oh, also creature types, I believe, were added with 5th edition. Like explicitly doing creature types. Great ad for the duelist. Let's see here. Our rule book. Bring the basics. Yeah, we're not going to sit here and leaf through all of this, but let me give you an idea. 
Oh, this is dual. So this is two color printing. That may be what it's thinking of. The fourth edition book, if I remember correctly, was just black and gray. This should be black and red. And gray. Okay, so three color printing. Unless you count grayscale as one color. Yeah. Very nice. So this launched around the same time as Tempest. And Portal Second Age. They all came out in the same year-ish. Right, so let's look at the first deck. Right, so we have Counterspell. Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. Terror. Using that lovely... Ron Spencer art. Baldalian soldiers. Zephyr Falcon. Oh, beautiful art by Melissa Benson. Uh, Zephyr Falcon. Got Heather Hudson art. Phantom Monster by Rebecca Gwai. Bog Rats. Erg Raiders by Stuart Griffin art. He did quite a bit of art in Tempest, or if I remember correctly. Balgamp, Balgraith, Jeff Menges, art. JW Frost Island, another island, another island. We have Andrew Robinson Swamp, another. And another. Little Tim. Of the Schuler. So, Prodigal Sorcerer. Mole Worms. Adrian Smith art of that. Nice. Just super creepy design, but still great. Scathe Zombies. Tom Kyphon on that. One of the things that happened with the art in 5th edition is it was just very very detailed even more so than prior art um, but also there were even more uh, real world quotes it's, it's another swamp another island soul barrier by Harold McNeil I think this was either in Tempest or, or not Tempest, um, Mirage or Ice Age. Can't remember which one. The new art for Unholy Strength, which this one stuck with me. The the Tom Kyphon art or Kiffin art or Unholy Strength. This one was fairly upsetting for my parents. Frozen Shade with new art by D. Turlizzi. Very nice. This is also when we started to see explicitly stating until end of turn on a lot of things. Another swamp, another swamp. A little Rod of Ruin. The new errata on. Or a new errata on Rod of Ruin from the time. Instead of saying any target, it's target creature or player, although I believe they did that in 4th edition as well. So Christopher Rushard there. Soul Net with art by Andrew Robinson. And another island. Lots of iconic art came in with 5th edition. Right. Well, the second deck. Again, these are half size decks. To introduce players to the game. Righteousness. Great art by Mike 
Thring Thringenberg? Man, I'm bad with names. Mike Drengenberg. Righteousness. Incinerate with Scott M. Fisher art. I don't think this art ever saw a black border printing. It is a great version of Incinerate. Giant Growth. I think many people are familiar with this art for Giant Growth more so than the original. Mons Goblin Raiders, Heat Ventures, Iron Claw, Iron Claw Orcs, Anson Maddox, Bird Maiden by uh, Kaja or Kaya uh, Foglia, Hill Giant by Charles Gillespie. Tarpan by Margaret Margaret Organ Keen. Love their art. Grizzly Bears, Una Fricker art. Another iconic one. Pearled Unicorn. Oddly enough, when I think of unicorns, this this specific image is the one that comes to mind for me. With great art by David A. Cherry. And it references Through the Looking Glass. We have a John Avon Mountain. I'm trying to remember. John Avon, I think, first started doing art for Magic and Mirage. But I'm not entirely sure. Another mountain. And another mountain. Forest with David O'Connor art. Another forest. Th these always reminded me of the pine forests in North Carolina. Then we have a plains that... Honestly, I thought this was a snow-covered plains the first several times I saw the art. But it's... Lovely Plains by Pat Morrissey. Another Plains. Semite Healer with art by Tom Vanderstrand. Vanderstrand. Dwarven Warriors. Great Douglas Schuler art. Lanawar Elves. City of Brass. Hey, I completely forgot this was in the pre or in the uh, starter set. So, another Tom Vanderstrand. This was the second white border printing of City of Brass. Third printing overall, I believe. First reprint being in, um, in Chronicles, and the first printing, of course, being in Arabian Nights. Plains. Circle of Protection Black by Gary Grace. Or Jerry Grace? I'm not sure. I think it's Jerry Grace, actually. Fire Breathing with that lovely Dan Fraser art. Regeneration. Art, of course, by Quentin Hoover. Mountain. Forest. Dancing Scimitar. Disenchant. With art by Brian Snowdy. And a mountain. Very nice. All right. Let's take a look at what's in the booster pack. I think this was also when... When they first started adding booster packs to the two-player starter decks. Can't remember if the... 4th edition one had one or not. Hmm. No, the introductory set for 4th edition did not. So we're going to try and open this so we can save the wrapper.
Oh. Dang. Just split right down the front. And then it, <laughs> and then it decided to crack on the back. Jeez. Oh well. Sometimes it does that. Alright, so let's see what we got in our booster pack. Face those in opposing directions. We have Felden's Cane. Great, great card with art by Mark Tedden. Wall of Bone. Nice. Desert Twister. Hey, with art by Susan Van Camp. Nice. Daralor. I think this is the rare. <laughs> uh, I think so, because I'm pretty sure it was three uncommons than the rare. And then the commons afterwards. We have Tarpan. Fire Breathing. Scathe Zombies. Innervate. Art by L.A. Williams. Shield Wall. Art by Scott Kirshner. Nature's Lore with art by Alan Rabinowitz. Grapeshot Catapult, that classic art by Dan Frazier. Counterspell, lovely Hannibal King art. Brass Claw Orcs, with art by Rob Alexander. Who is much better known for his um, landscape. He's much better known for his landscapes. And we have Krovican Fetish, worked by Heather Hudson. Nice. And Dark Maze, worked by David Seeley. Oh. Dark Maze was one of those fun ones where you sit back with it until you worked through your opponent's creatures. And then uh, when it was no longer useful for that, you just swung in with it. Very nice overall. Great throwback here. I'm going to have to compare the rulebook this version with the 4th edition and then eventually 6th edition, which is where we got the modern rules from. But overall, very nice. Oh, this was also when uh, they first started talking about Oracle. Oracle had been around for a couple of years at this point. But this does directly reference it and reference the the news group for magic rules this was about the time that i started having an interest in being a judge too yeah it's a great great time all right well thank you for joining me on this adventure with the fifth edition two-player starter deck as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. We've got some really, really exciting things coming up for the channel uh, once I'm able to catch up on recording some stuff. Especially for these Throwback Thursday episodes. Pretty soon we will have some rather unusual things to show on Throwback Thursdays. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So don't forget to comment and subscribe so we can grow the channel and 
keep doing awesome stuff like this. Uh, oh, also, the, there is a giveaway that will be happening on Sunday, more than likely. If not this Sunday, the next Sunday. Um, check out Secret Lair Sunday, episode number 172 for the details on it. So it's a little Easter egg in the video. Until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.